there is downright outrage over Michael's movie. It hasn't even opened up yet. This Is It is the brand new film. It's made from footage of Michael's final rehearses as he was preparing for his series of 50 concerts in London. As we know, he died before those final rehearsals. Well, tonight, new word from Jackson's relatives that they are not going to see the film. But why not? And now fans from as many as 10 countries are rallying together to slam the filmmakers behind This Is It, accusing them of hiding the truth about Michael's failing health and cashing in on his death. We can tell you without a doubt these outrageous new Michael Jackson claims made for big news breaking today. Get me out, bam. Some right there. Into the nighttime. Four walls won't hold me tonight. It's perhaps the last look we'll get of the king of pop doing what he did best. If this sound is just an apple. This brand new footage from the upcoming documentary, This Is It, shows a dynamic Michael Jackson rehearsing for his comeback concerts in the days before his death. It's clear that seeing Michael Jackson singing and dancing one more time will be irresistible for fans still mourning his loss. But Showbiz Tonight can tell you some of Michael Jackson's fans and even members of his family are either hesitant or downright furious about This Is It and may not even see it. Jackson's mother, Katherine Jackson, tells Access Hollywood it's just too soon for her to see her son on the big screen. I don't think I can bear to look at it right now, but um, eventually in time I will watch it. Are you guys going to go and watch the movie as a, as a whole family? And in this new video from TMZ, Jackson's sister LaToya said pretty much the same thing. We're not seeing it. My mother knew we're not seeing it. Even with the lack of support Jackson's family is offering for This Is It, his heirs stand to benefit the most from the movie. Jackson's estate got a chunk of the reported $60 million Sony paid for the rights to the rehearsal footage that makes up the movie. And 90% of all the film's revenue reportedly goes to his heirs. There's the man. There's Michael. Plus, as part of their deal, Sony assured Jackson's family that This Is It will not show Jackson in a negative light. That's a cool move. Okay. Cool move. That means don't expect to see any signs of the insomnia and heavy sedative use that caused Jackson's death. And you won't see footage of the moment where the cast and crew found out Jackson had died. And because of those omissions... They don't really care about us. Some fans don't care for this movie. In an online campaign against This Is It called This Is Not It, fans are bashing the movie, saying its makers routinely ignore Jackson's drug and health problems. They're really upset that they think the people who probably should have been in the position to help Michael are the ones that are going to make money off of this movie. The film's director, Kenny Ortega, was asked about the controversy on the Today Show. But let me just say that it's funny that anyone would say anything negative has been excluded when no one's seen the film, so they don't really know what's in the film or not. And Ortega tells Showbiz Tonight why he thinks Michael himself would have been fine with people seeing him preparing for his comeback. And he had these real big reasons behind, you know, wanting to go on stage again. Those reasons are in the film. And I do think Michael would have wanted his fans to know what those were. Even if Michael's mom, sister, and some web-savvy critics won't be seeing the film when it opens Tuesday, it looks like plenty of people will. More than 1,600 showtimes reportedly have already sold out since advanced tickets went on sale for the movie's two-week run. There are fans, people who have loved Michael Jackson their whole life, who really are, are just horrified by all of the stuff that we've been hearing the past few months about his drug use, about his problems. And a lot of people do want to just go to the movies and see Michael in a positive light and see him the way they remember him. You Hold for applause, fade out. Yeah, so is this film really trying to cover up the tragic truth about Jackson's life just days before his death? Joining me tonight in New York, Carolina Bermudez, who's a senior editor with In Touch Weekly. Also tonight from Hollywood, Tanika Ray, who's an entertainment journalist. Let's start off with this brand new controversy today over the website called thisisnotit.com. Now, these fans are saying the people behind the movie, This Is It, cut out any negative footage of Michael looking unhealthy. The movie is not in theaters yet. Few people have actually seen the whole thing. But let's just say for a moment the filmmakers did only use footage of Michael that made him look good, that showed him in the most positive light. Carolina, is there anything wrong with that?
don't believe so, AJ. I think they're maintaining his integrity as an artist, and that's probably what he would have wanted them to see. Just because they're not including the negative footage, that doesn't make it any less valuable. The, he was a legend in his own right, and I think that he died doing what he loved doing, and that was performing. And unfortunately, this is the last documentation that we have of it, and I know that there are a lot of people who really want to see this film. And it's interesting, you use the word documentation, but this certainly is not being billed as a documentary about Michael's death, or a documentary about his final days. It is just showing the rehearsal process and giving people this last taste of, of what was to be expected at the London shows. The film's director is Kenny Ortega, and he's been speaking out about the film. He's addressing claims that all the negative footage of Michael has been excluded. And here's what he told the Today Show about that. Watch this. Let me just say that it's funny that anyone would say anything negative has been excluded when no one's seen the film, so they don't really know what's in the film or not. Mm -hmm. It's candid, it's honest, it's raw, it's real. You know, the cameras were turned on, you know, just uh, uh, you know, a few times, and that's the footage that exists in this film. Now, with all due respect to Kenny Ortega, the cameras were turned on more than just a few times. The movie was, after all, made from 80 hours of footage. 80 hours more than a few times, certainly. Maybe he misspoke. But, Tanika, what do you think? Do the filmmakers have any obligation to show the bad as well as the good? Uh, you know, I don't think so. They have the theatrical creative license to do whatever they want. And basically, you can't make everybody happy. If they did a documentary on the negative stuff, there would have been a legion of fans outraged by that. So I'm going to kind of look at it as paying homage to Michael Jackson and his beautiful, amazing, creative life that we all love so much that is in the pit of our stomach. We all want to see what he was going to do in London for those 50 shows. And now we're going to get a chance to kind of get a glimpse of it. And I think that's to be celebrated. So I think also to the, to the the point before about why the family's not going to see it, I think it's just too fresh. You know, they're going to see their, their family member that is doing what he loves, yes, but I think it's going to bring up a lot of emotions, and I think that's why they're staying away. Yeah. For the most part, I think they're going to sell all those tickets out in two weeks and we're all going to love it. Of course, and, and I, I think as far as the outrage is concerned, I do understand it because so many fans are just still so angry over the fact that Michael died, over how irresponsible yes. his death was and the people around him were being. Now, this I find fascinating. According to Entertainment Weekly, cameras were in fact rolling when Michael's concert crew got the announcement that Michael had died. I mean, that, I can only imagine how powerful that would have been to have seen. Now, they didn't include that in the movie. So, Carolina, I'm thinking that the critics maybe should give the filmmakers some credit here because I think that shows that they weren't necessarily out to simply exploit Michael's death and make it sensational. Absolutely, because if they were, they would say, oh, man, this is the clincher. People are going to come just to see this part right here. I do believe that they are taking a chance here with putting it out there and letting people see these last moments. It's going to be hard for people to see Michael Jackson as he was anyway. I mean, that, that can be looked at as a negative, but the fact that they left that, that personal side out, because these are people who work closely with Michael Jackson yeah. over a period of time, I mean, I really do think that they're looking out for his best interest here. I, I want to play some more, because Showbiz and I did get a hold of another brand new look at the film today. Watch this extraordinary footage of Michael doing a human nature in rehearsals. Check this out. If this town is just an apple let me take a ride And when they say why, why Does that instrument make no why very quickly, Tanika, I mean, I see that, and I think people are now just going to be even more curious about what's on those other 78 hours. Absolutely. You know, it brings a little tear to my eye, because that's the Michael we all love. I have very good friends that dance with Michael over the years, and they say nothing but kind, beautiful things about a man who gave so much in his humanitarian efforts. Yeah. All he wanted to do was to touch everybody and to make everybody love each other, and I think this movie is going to help, help, you know, per, per, do that. It's good, yeah. I think, I think great closure for Michael. Well deserved. Yes, I'm for yes. one looking forward to it.